The idea came when I went, was going to the, when we used to call the sanitary landfill a dump. This friend and I, we went to the dump after Christmas, and there were all these trees mixed in with all the garbage. Nothing was separated. Nothing was recycled. This was 1983, 82. So we started, we turned all the Christmas trees up and created a forest dump. And then the idea of, well, wow, like we're actually reclaiming these trees. These are like live objects of nature that people bring into their houses every year. It's a very pagan thing. So I started doing a lot of research about Christmas trees and evergreens. And the evergreen was used to ward off evil spirits um, in, in many cultures. Uh, in Hebrew culture, uh, Chinese culture, and of course the contemporary Christmas tree comes via Germany. But it's an ancient pagan tradition. So that the Rerooters Day is about rerooting roots, rerooting ourselves to the earth, reclaiming our connection to the earth. The Christmas tree becomes the center of this. And of course, the Christmas tree symbolizes, you know, the consumerism, the glut, the excessive consumption that characterizes our culture. So it really touches on all kinds of issues from genetic engineering to fashion, feminism, you know, male female role models, uh, what we think of as beautiful, commercialism, you name it. I also ask people to bring things from their lives that they want to discard, to burn. And I've, I've had people bring gallbladders and bills and, you know, pornography, lists of potential boyfriends who never called back, you know, tricks, numbers of tricks, <laughs> you know, and everything from, you know, anxiety and money and peace and love and all kinds of wishes and kinds of things that people would put notes on the tree. And then I take it out into the water at sunset and burn it. I guess the reason I keep doing it is because it provides me with a little bit of sanity. We're here today to purge the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Wad Yasu. Wad Yasu. Wad Yasu. The, 80s, the 80s were the biggest binge decade in the history of the world. And the Lord appeared to Moses in the form of a burning bush and gave him the Ten Commandments of the New World Order. Commandment number one, the big stick is the Lord thy God and greed is thy credo. Super at Model Eggs. Let him repus skega. Let him repus skega. Again. Let him wreck a skega. 
if you are a supermodel out there, <laughs> make sure your eggs get deposited and frozen for posterity so we can create more clones of yourself. Commandment number five, thou shalt not acquire a design of vagina unless morphed from razor razor extreme contactees with no autologous fat transfers. Commandment number six, thou shalt not promulgate antimatter unless polysexual galactic beings fenchway chewing gum diet into techno-utopianism. because it's just like it's the most totally Provincetown thing you can do and you bring something that you want to shed everyone who's everyone is here come come <laughs> <laughs> Is your brain pacemaker snooping on you, or is it World of Warcraft video games? <laughs> Are you backdating or pretexting your Carmen effects? <laughs> Are you unbanked or hormone free? <laughs> Which side of the enhancement divide are you on, rich or poor? A condom. A condom. Is medical overdiagnosis causing your pre-disease, or is it bed bugs? <laughs> oh, beautiful atomic skies for gamma rays obtain. Bright ozone mountains, majesty above God's nuclear planes. Our team insures, our team insures, thank God we cannot see the creeds that could destroy the good from spring to shopping spree. Oh, beautiful exploding skies. Okay, look, wow, we got lots of stuff. This, this town is going to be cleansed, <laughs> and the Affordable Hair Act is going to take over. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. Another Yes. So we move to the finale.
Cape Cast. Here comes Jay Critchley, the ringmaster of the Rerooters Day ceremony in Provincetown. It's always on January 7th. It's the 32nd annual, if you can believe it. He walks out to the East End Beach, beautiful sky, and the people gather around him. Why? Because Jay has something to say about purging the lousy stuff from 2014 and moving on. Crows that found and seem all mountains following superstars. Oh, oh. After a little singing, it's time to put purge items into the old Christmas tree. Stuff you want to get rid of. You don't need any more. Maybe a tax bill. And then Jay takes the Christmas tree out to sea and ignites it. And all the regrets burn. Everyone gets a clean slate. You know, it's political, it's ecological, it's got a lot of heart, it's playful. You know, what's, what a better way to start the year. I purged a, a sad love poem because I'm, you know, feeling so much better these days. So I'm letting go of fear and just letting go. What do you think 2015 has in store for all of us? It's cray cray, absolutely cray cray. <laughs>